Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Adrian. Um, you probably all know Stephanie from her work uh, since, I don't know, a dozen or so years ago with Broadside when you started? It's been over a decade in the digital out of home industry. Wow. Yeah. You don't look that old. Thank you. That's fantastic. And now, you, now Stephanie is now a global head of digital out of home at Yahoo. That's right. I don't think I pronounce Yahoo properly. You can pronounce it properly. I, I say Yahoo, but tomato, Yahoo. tomato. Okay, fine. Yeah. Good. Um, so we're here to talk about uh, ad tech out of home Toronto, which yes. is happening. Uh, you've chaired that one. What, when was the last time you chaired an ad tech conference? So the last ad tech at home conference I chaired was in Amsterdam in 2019. And before that, it was New York. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was London yeah. all in the same year. So it's okay. been a little while. So 2019 was a f whole flurry of those events. Um, we've done, obviously you couldn't get over for London this year. We've done an ad tech conference in London mm. early this year. Uh, Toronto is this week. Um, what's exciting you about Toronto? This is the first time we've come to Canada with the conference series. Right, and being Canadian myself, I'm very happy about that. And I would say the full room that's mm -hmm. sold out speaks for itself in terms of the interest Canadians have in digital out of home right. at this time, particularly being bought and sold through the programmatic channel. Okay, any particular presentations you're looking forward to? The conversations, I, I really look forward to hearing from the buy side about what they want from Digital Out of Home. And what's interesting is back uh, in Amsterdam in 2019, we had a whole panel dedicated to why not Digital Out of That's Home. That's right. Okay, yeah. To give them that voice about what we need to be changing in our industry so that it's easy for them to access. And so now what's interesting in the Toronto agenda, in the in New York agenda, um, that's no longer there so much. Right. Now we have actual examples of campaigns that have been running, what's going on successfully, what we need to do more of. So New York, which takes place October the 14th, is a morning only event. Correct. You've got Marriott, I think, um, keynoting the Doing day. Doing the keynote, yes. But you've got lots of agencies involved as well, which is a big turn up. A big, big change, isn't it? Absolutely. There's going to be a session led by Anna Bager, who's the president of the OAAA. That's all about data and measurement in out of home. Very important so that we can show that we're actually being effective when in the media mix as an industry. Um, and then there's another panel led by Sean McCaffrey, president of GSTV, about video in out of home mm -hmm. and CTV and OTT. And OTT yeah. And that's another important way where digital out of home can function as an audience extension for the very popular CTV that mm -hmm. was COVID fueled. And we need to uh, be able to facilitate those extra audiences that need a place contextually in the right. real world. And so most people who are watching this video will probably know that next week is New York Digital Signage Week. It runs from October the 11th to the 15th, it's full of about 12 to 15 different events. Um, you're busy next week because you're doing something else also for the for the DPAA Video Everywhere Summit, yes. which is on the Tuesday. Tuesday, October 12. It's a full day summit, and uh, I'll be moderating a panel about creativity in digital out of home. So um, there will be a speaker from Yahoo, a speaker from Cooler Screens, as well as a speaker from uh, Rufus, which is Amazon's agency. Right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Again, uh, agency led as well, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I think you mooted that we might be able to come back to Toronto next next year, maybe in May. I think you were suggesting. I sure hope so. Yeah, there was a lot to fit into t the agenda for Toronto as well as for New York. So if we can make a second event happen in May, everybody will be ready for it. Brilliant. Okay, well, I'll leave it there. You've heard it here first then. So next May, we should be returning to, to, to Toronto. Uh, if you didn't manage to get a ticket today, we do have a long wait list. We are um, completely sold out. Um, we'll see you maybe in May next year. Absolutely. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you.